Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about computer and software options for audio processing. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. Which one of the following is not an important feature of a quality audio editing software? Option A, state-of-the-art speakers. Option B, user-friendly software. Option C, agile audio editing. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. A quality audio editing software should have the following characteristics. Firstly, user-friendly interface, which is straightforward to navigate and efficient. Secondly, agile audio editing with simple, clear controls and the software should also offer a library of royalty-free music and sound effects. Question number two. Which one of the following is not true for Audacity? Option A. It is open source. Option B. It allows multi-track editing. Option C. It is paid software. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Audacity is the first on the list because it is a free, open-source, versatile audio editing software available for Windows, macOS, and Linux. It offers a wide range of features for recording, editing, and mixing audio tracks. Audacity is great for beginners and casual users because it is simple to use and very accessible. Its key features include multi-track editing, making it suitable for projects ranging from simple voice recordings to complex music productions recording audio directly into Audacity using a microphone, line input, or other sources. Question number three. Which one of the following is not true for Ocean Audio? Option A. It does not support a wide range of audio formats. Option B. It has a real-time preview functionality. Option C. It has an intuitive and clean user interface. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. Awesome Audio is user-friendly, cross-platform software. Its key features include an intuitive and clean user interface, multi-platform availability including Windows, macOS, and Linux, real-time preview functionality and noise reduction and audio restoration tools. The software supports a wide range of audio formats including WAV, MP3, FLAC, OGG, and more ensuring compatibility with various audio files. Question number four. Which one of the following is not true for audio tool? Option A. Audio tool operates entirely within a web browser. Option B. Audio tool does not allow for flexible and customizable music production workflows. Option C. It has a modular interface where users can drag and drop virtual synthesizers, drum machines, effects, and other instruments onto a virtual canvas. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. Audio Tool is an online digital audio workstation DAW that allows users to create, edit, and produce music entirely within a web browser. Its key features include online platform, since Audio Tool operates entirely within a web browser, eliminating the need for users to download or install any software. It has also modular interface where users can drag and drop virtual synthesizers, drum machines, effects, and other instruments onto a virtual canvas. 
This modular approach allows for flexible and customizable music production workflows. Question number five. Which one of the following is not an audio editing software? Option A, Apple Logic Pro. Option B, Steinberg Cubase. Option C, Krita. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Krita is a free and open source raster graphics editor designed primarily for digital art and 2D animation. It has nothing to do with audio editing. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about computer and software options for audio processing. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.u. All the content of the Video Teach project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.